So here we are. Alice and Finn are going to start drawing the sleepy sloth. And as Alice and Finn draw, she will describe what it is she is doing. And at the end of the video, I will um, add a link to the PDF with the directions as well. All right, here we go. Uh, hi. I don't know. Um, hi. So, so your first thing, uh, when you're trying to draw the sleepy sloth, all you have to do is... Yeah, I've got something on my pencil. Okay. So all you have to do is draw a sort of U shape around the paper. You need it to be big because this is going to be the body of the sloth. Very good. Again, your U shape's nice and big too. Good job. And then you're going to have somewhere off to the left. So off to the left, you're going to have an oval shape. And this is going to be the sloth's head. And then we're going to go to this little right here. And we're going to make a little another sort of U shape. And that's going to be the arm. And then, but don't connect it to the head because I messed up. But yeah, it's going to be another U shape. And then, for the next step, you're going to go right here. Hold on, let Finn catch up. Sorry. <laughs> good job. Let me see Finn. Very good. Then okay, you're next go step. To another, uh, you're going to make a curved line. And stop about here, and then you're gonna make another U shape for the other arm. Okay, nice fin. Good yeah, and job. then you're gonna go around here, and there's so the body for the sloth. Mm. The body. And now you're gonna go to the next. You're gonna go to this. Uh, the end of this. You and you're gonna make another leg. There's a lot of legs. Um, how many legs does a sloth have? Alice? Four. <laughs> I know how many legs a sloth has. Okay. Good gotcha. job. <laughs> and now you're gonna connect. You're gonna go up here, and right after this one, you're gonna make a little U and make another little leg, and connect it to this. That's really nice. Yours is great, Finn, too. So there you go, sloth. Okay, and now... Okay, hold on one sec. Can I see it? Nice. Let me see Finn's. Very cool. And now you're gonna you go make... right here and make, like, two U-shapes. And this is gonna be where the eyes are placed. Then you're gonna create a little... Nice. Sort of tri uh, cr a triangle. No. And then I always make triangles for noses. And that's how I make my nose. And I got a little twin nostrils. So if you don't want to do a triangular nose, it can look more like a circle or an oval. <laughs> yeah, you can make whatever nose. I just always make a triangle shaped nose. Then you put two circles right, right here for their eyes. And you can make a little highlight in the eye. Nice, Finn. Then you're going to add a smile. Yay, that's so cute. Uh, now... Let me see, hold on, let me see Finn's. Can I see your smiley sloth, Finn? It's nice. Oh, you've got a happy sloth, a very happy sloth. Very cool. What do you add next, Alice? Then... You get any colors that you have. I have these markers. Finn also has markers, but you can use colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have at home to color this off. And you can color it however you want. And what for about mine, the background? For mine, uh, for the background... I want to make the background. I mm -hmm. add a little branch, so he's holding on to a branch. I can't hold on to a branch. What's yours going to hold on to? A branch. <laughs> then you can add leaves to the background, just like making a little leaf.
Okay. And little flowers wherever you want. And then just add color using crayons or markers. Um, and it's complete. We will show, I will take a picture of their finished project. Project?